Welcome to Railroads Online, and this is a special video I'm making today on how to use the re railing tool to re rail and to rotate the locomotives. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to make two pieces of track, and the first one I'm going to make it facing this direction north. And we'll lay out a couple of pieces here. Okay, and we'll put put a cross track on the, the other end of here so we can turn it back around to face the other direction. And now I'm going to build this piece of track facing south the opposite direction so that I can show that the direction you build the track in, that the actual track has a direction so that forward is the direction that you have placed the track. Right, now we don't need any of the cross tracks on the end. We'll remove them. So we have this piece of track here, which was placed facing this direction. This piece of track that was faced, placed facing this direction. Now, if we use our re-railing tool to re-rail over to these pieces, G, re-railing tool, left click to select it and it shows up there in the top left hand corner that I've got it selected. If I move it to this first piece of rail, it will show that the brake is on this end. Now to, to now back on the right piece of track. Now if I hold down the left mouse button and that's click and hold, and then I move down the track slightly, you can see that the brake changes to the other end. And I'll move just back, so I'll let go of it and move just back slightly. And now the brake's at the other end. Click and hold, move forward, and the brake is at the other end. Now, the default on this piece of track, the re-railing will face the other direction. So this is no mouse button held, and the brake is at this end. Put it back on the right track, please. Thank you. Now, if I hold the left mouse button and move down the track further, you've got to look at the rail, and now the brake has switched to the other end. So we'll put it down on this end, and I'm holding the left mouse button to place here, and now I'll let go of the mouse button, and the brake has switched to the other end. Right-click to drop it. Now, it works exactly the same way with a locomotive. So we'll re-rail the locomotive, and we can see it says that I've got the Climax Select it up in the top left hand corner. If I put it here on this first rail, you can see the locomotive is facing this direction. Now, if I hold down the left mouse button and then move down the rail slightly, it has flipped the direction of the locomotive. I will now let go of the mouse button and move down the rail slightly and it has flipped it back to face the other way. Now, if I move over to this second rail, which faces the opposite direction, you can see the locomotive now faces the opposite direction. And I can do the same thing on this track. I can hold down the left mouse button, move down the track slightly, and it flips the direction of the locomotive. Let go of the mouse button, move down the track, and it flips it back the other way. Now, we want to put it down so that it's facing that direction. And I'm still holding the left mouse button so it stays that direction. Right click to drop it. Oh, now we look at this one here. The direction's incorrect. Perhaps some brakes on this. It doesn't have brakes. This one is now facing the wrong direction for the direction we made the locomotive face. So we'll pick it up and we'll hold down the left mouse button, move down the track just slightly. And the next time it appears, the brakes facing the right direction. Keep the left mouse button held and then right click to drop it. And now they are both facing backwards on this piece of track that was laid in this direction. Remember this track was laid in this direction. So if you can't get your locomotives to re-rail to the correct direction, you're either not holding the mouse button because you actually have to hold it, not just click it. Um, if you can't get it to do that, tear up your piece of track and lay the piece of track in the opposite direction and then you will be able to re-rail to the direction you want to. Okay, that's all for this video. It was just to show some re-railing.